Okay, so all of us at some point or another are going to probably have to do a presentation, whether you're a teacher or a student. And I think a lot of you would probably agree that just because we've done it before doesn't mean that we're the best at this. So what PowerPoint has done for us is they've added in something very awesome that's going to help us kind of correct some of those different little behaviors that we have during our presentations that's called rehearsal coach so if i come over to my slideshow tab now make sure you're in microsoft on the web not the powerpoint windows 10 app because you will not find this feature there but when you go to slideshow tab you're going to notice that there's this thing called rehearse with coach um so you probably just noticed I said the word um. It's going to do some things like that. So now that my presentation's about ready to go, I'm gonna get started here. So when I press Rehearsal Coach, it's going to prompt me and tell me that it's gonna start giving me some feedback when I work on this PowerPoint and when I go through this. So obviously this is not something to do while I'm doing this live in person with somebody else. It's just so I can practice this ahead of time to make sure that I sound like I know what I'm talking about and I'm not saying a bunch of filler words and other things like that. So here we go. When I say start rehearsing, now my presentation has begun. So if I was sitting here talking about Microsoft Teams in this case, which is what I'm doing right now, and I'm, in fact, I'm gonna start talking a little faster just because that's one of the reasons why I can start doing this. But when I start clicking through my presentation, now one of, you th one of the things you've probably noticed students like to do, maybe even some teachers sometimes too, is that uh, when you've got a PowerPoint and you've got uh, a bunch of information on a slide like I do right here talking about what Microsoft Teams is, uh, is that they read it to me. So if I said Microsoft Teams is a digital hub uh, that brings conversations, content, assignments, and apps together in one place. Oh, look at what it just told me. It says, hey, try to avoid reading the slides and to summarize my key points. Pretty cool feature here that uh, AI is working for me. So uh, if I would continue through these, see, it's going to tell me right there. Don't try to use words like, uh, as I go through my presentation, it's going to tell me how fast I'm going and whatnot. Uh, as I work my way through this presentation, it's going to tell me, so I'm just going to go through here a little faster. It's going to tell me again some of the things because I want to get to my ending of my presentation so you can kind of see what happens when you get to the end of this. So let's just say I had gone through this entire thing and I'm almost finished here. When I get done, now my presentation is finished and it's going to give me a little rehearsal report. So it's going to show me how much time it spent, tells me how fast my pace was in this case. Uh, very comprehensive look at what I did here. Uh, definitely tells me that I'm saying uh, a little too much. Even my pitch of my voice. Uh, I do like this part right here because it's going to tell me, you saw me on specifically slide two, that I was reading that information to you. And it's telling me to stop reading that, you know, avoid reading that slide. So pretty cool job. Uh, one of the other things that you'll notice here too is if you say some sensitive phrases or whatever, it's going to pick those up and kind of tell you to watch out for some of those too. But very cool uh, little feature that is built right into PowerPoint on the web. Feel free to give it a try before you do a presentation so you can get exactly what you want out of it. And then when you do your presentation, you are spot on.